I'm gonna show you how to make Thanksgiving dinner. For the stuffing, I have five strips of bacon. About a half cup of onion. Two garlic cloves. I have a small can of mushroom, four pounds. A tiny can of black olive, 2.25 pounds. If you don't have chicken stock, you can use chicken bouillon, chicken powder, one cup of warm water, one tablespoon of chicken powder, chicken bouillon. I have sage, we want only the leaves, not the stems. Rosemary. Fresh dill. Chives. Also orange peel. Mmm, the aroma. Five ounces bag of decent croutons. Whole almonds. Try not to smash the croutons. Just fold it so they absorb all the liquid. Our stuffing is ready. Now let's prepare the chicken. A whole chicken, I wash it, and now we're gonna just dry it with paper towels. Inside. Try to dry inside the best that you can. Kosher salt. Season to taste. Black pepper. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Sage. Okay, now in this position, we're gonna fill it up. Sit, 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 sit. Good boy. Fill it up and press. On this cure, make sure it goes around both sides. Maybe another one on the side. With a piece of twine, cross it like that, and then just go like an eight. Good. This is the size of the pan of my air fryer. I had to build up like a fan. A little bit of oil can be any oil. I'm using olive oil. You're gonna place the wing on there like that. That will make it look fancy. Pen spray. 350 on air fryer for 40 minutes. Okay, I got two strips of bacon. And I have a bag of frozen green beans. One tablespoon of minced garlic. Salt and black pepper to taste. One can of cream of mushroom. Plate safe for oven. Top it up with cheese. Can be any cheese that melt. Panko. Crispy fried onion. Now we're gonna broil this on low just to melt the cheese. We're gonna make the mashed potato. You need two Russell potatoes. You can peel them up. I like it with the skin. Cut it in small pieces. Slice it in small cubes. And that's it back. We're gonna add the potatoes. Salt to taste, a little bit of black pepper, three tablespoons of butter, heavy whipped cream. Take all the air out into another bag. 
for a microwave for three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Now that we know it's safe, it didn't broke, we're gonna put another three minutes. Potatoes are ready. You can let it rest for a few more minutes. For 40 minutes, holding the chicken too. In a bowl, add equal parts of corn syrup. You can also use honey and red wine. Okay, it's mixed. We're gonna brush the chicken and bring it back to the air fryer. Now at 415 for 10 minutes. Now in a pan, I have one tablespoon of butter, one jalapeno chopped, really small without the seeds, cranberry sauce, one can. Don't worry, it's not spicy. After 30 minutes, brush it again. And put it back for another 10 minutes on 450. A half cup of flour. Keep stirring. Now load the heat. Four tablespoons of butter. Half cup of water, chicken bouillon, chicken powder, half cup of water. There you go. Our gravy is ready. Now we have this French bread. So we're just gonna cut in eight pieces. Tray it with parchment paper. Just gonna tray it. We're gonna place the bones facing up like that with a sharp cut some lines on the top. You need milk, maple syrup, brush the bones, onion flakes, 350 for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. Got the potatoes. Smash them. Just with heavy cream, give the consistency that you want it. I like a little creamy. Chicken is ready. Remove the skewers and you can cut the twine. Now, in a plate, just lay a bed of greens to make it look fancy. Martina rolls. 